Welcome to the Average Rook. We are still playing Resident Evil Zero. We are at the treatment facility. This is apparently the final area in the game. Which is probably just as well, because I really don't want to have to deal with all of this item management stuff. Now, the guide is going to be my best friend in this situation. And I will be using it as much as I possibly can. I'm just going to examine this. Yes, you cannot carry it right now. That doesn't matter. Now, let us explore the treatment facility. There is what appears to be an elevator and some green herbs in the corner. There also appears to be a door. Oh, waiting to hear. Can I pick these up? I cannot carry it right now. Damn. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got some, uh, ooh, more increments. If I can just get to that. There we go. Take the ink ribbon, yep. So now I have 30 of them. I don't know if that's the maximum. And we have a typewriter here that I don't necessarily need to use. Except I will use it right now. Just give me a moment. So on this side, there appears to be a display of PowerPoints. Dam area power supply panel. Designate a point to receive power. Power can be supplied to any location up to two points away. Change points? I suppose. But I would need to look at the guide for this. So what do we need to do? According to the guide, we need to hit these buttons. We need to hit... I may be getting this completely wrong, but we need to hit two, two. We need to hit this area here. Oh. Oh. And then we need to hit three, five. If you're treating this like a four by seven grid where... The corner up there where a reservoir is, is 1-1. One, one. We need to be hitting 2-2, two, two. we need to be hitting 3 fives. So that's 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1-6, which is here. That has hit all of them! So everything is now powered. Light it up like a... Uh, a steel Christmas tree. It looks like power has been restored. Alright. We should be able to move around. Can we look at this? No, we can't. Okay. I would assume that the elevator had no power before. So we should be able to go down, I think. Yep, go down. We need to catch up with Billy, who fell all the way through the sewage tunnels. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Well, time to do some shooting. Whoa! I didn't know that was going to happen. Luckily, it was at the right height. Nah, can I do the same for you? Wait, hold on. No, I'm, I'm too far away. Yep, too far away. Damn. Oh well, at least I got that one headshot. That was glorious. What is next in this area here? There's a bottle right here. Ooh. I cannot carry this item now. But I do want to make some more Molotov cocktails. So I'm just going to combine this. I'm going to drop. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop this. And I'm going to drop this. We'll pick those up in just a moment. But first I'm going to, uh... I'll come back for the bottle. I need to keep, I need to, um, I need to pick up the gas tank up top. Alright, with our gas tank in hand, pick up the empty bottle. Let's see how many of each we have. We have six gas tanks and three empty bottles. Combine this with that to get more Molotov cocktails, and then drop this here. And then all we need to do is re-pick up our bullets. And then we need to pick up our ink ribbons. I should really start speaking in the lower register, otherwise I'm just going to sound all goggly. There's more green and red herbs. Don't necessarily need to pick them up yet. I will just uh, examine them, and then move through the door. Assuming this is the door that I need to go through. Okay, what's on the other side? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe this. Ow! 
Ah, uh, you're still burning, mate. Well, at least that gets that gets rid of the leeches too. Now to switch back to this. Oh, great! You're already in caution. Hmm. I think it might be a good idea for me to leave the ink ribbons behind, where the uh, the save point is. Hmm. Just don't know. I might go back. Leave my ink ribbons there. See if I missed a, um, a map of sorts. I'm not sure I did. I'll check the guide to see if I missed a map. Two and a half minutes later. Okay, I've decided to leave the ink ribbons behind and collect the gas tank. Might be a little bit ballsy, but, uh, we'll see how we go. This door doesn't have a handle. There's a square-shaped hole in the door. We'll need to look for the handle. Let's, uh, go through this door and see what's on the other side. As long as I'm a little bit conservative about about uh, where I stand, should be okay. Various bottles of high-proof liquor. Almost all of them are empty, and there's a map here. Okay, so we don't seem to be too far away from the save point. I might have to go back for the ink ribbon if we get to that save point. Although that's the save point behind the door with no handles, so we may have to walk all the way up. Wait a minute, let me just check the map once more. So, up top, there is... that's a save... that's where we were before. Wait, was that the, uh... That must have been the power room. Yeah, that was the handgun ammunition I couldn't collect. And then there's another save one here. Let's see, further down... I don't... No. Can't tell if that's leading up or down. That's leading down. So down is... Unknown. Very, very unknown. Oh my goodness, so many floors. Alright, we'll just take a bit of a look around. Um, I might want to drop just, uh... I'll combine this and then drop. And I think I saw an empty bottle. Yeah, I did. Pick it up. Pick it up. Take the empty bottle. No, wait. Use. Combine with this. Was that it? That was it. Then combine with this. There we go. Okay, and then pick up the, uh, the handgun bullets again. And then we shall attempt to move on. Hopefully I can finish it in this one episode, otherwise I'll have to split it into two. Unfortunately, it's broken and can't be used. Damn it, I wanted to play. The balls are set as if someone was playing a game. Looks like I will never be able to use it. Now, is that all that we can collect? It seems to be. So let's go down the steps. Why do we need to have a transition for that? Another section of the, uh, of the sewers. Ooh, hello. There appears to be something special there. We'd probably need the forklift just to get up there. There's a space for a battery. So we need a battery to power the forklift. Well, where do we go next? There's another set of red and green herbs. Hmm. Might just examine those for now. If I'm lucky, I won't have any need of them. Though I would need to be very lucky. Ah, uh, let's go through this door. Come on, hurry this up. Do not waste my time. Got other stuff that I need to be doing. Pick up the, uh... Wait, we can't use the... We don't have the shotgun with us. We can't pick these up. Uh, can we operate this? No. Can we move this way? There's a wheel over there. But I don't necessarily want to go down yet. Alright, can we operate this? No. This looks like a door. It is indeed a door. Can I open it? I can open it. I don't necessarily want to go there yet. I might have to back out quickly. All right, down. Oh, okay, I didn't see those. Squish those, please. Okay, that's all I can squish. There's way too many leeches. 
This, uh, reservoir room. Or reservoir's room. Odd writing. Alright, what's at the other side? Cutscene? And Billy! Billy! Rebecca, we didn't even apply I? pressure to your chest. You're safe now. Are you okay? Hmm? What? What? What are you looking at? Is it gas? Oh. What could have done this? Director Marcus, maybe. They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. Yeah. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Oh, war flashbacks. Billy? All right. Guess we can't examine them from here. All right, well, we've got Billy in our, in our possession now. Though we don't have access... Okay, first I'm going to uh, exchange... Hold on. Exchange. Put all of it onto here. We can go back up and get the shotgun shells. But I think eventually we need to go back and get the grenade launcher, which I believe I left in the observatory. It shouldn't be too bad. That giant elevator that we took to get down here. If you go to level 1, it leads back to the, uh, the place where the train crashed. So it shouldn't be too bad to get back. Um... But I think we can probably move back to the, um, I think it's this way. Move back to the control panel. Back in the control room, we can pick up these shotgun shells. Give them to Billy. Hopefully they still, okay, we're still good. So this is apparently a two-person puzzle, and that's the handle we need for the door. We apparently need to send Billy down those steps and leave Rebecca here at the control panel. So we will just, oh, come on, camera work, thank you. I'll go. Yeah. All right, switch to Billy, and then move him all the way down. Down the steps. All right, so this pool is empty. We apparently need to move these boxes somehow. I'm not exactly certain on the order of them, so I shall check the guide. The guide designates this block over here, block number one. Block number two is this one, and block number three is this one, the darker colored one. So what we need to do is we need to move block three east. Maybe we have to hop over and go down, I think. If I get it wrong, I'll just switch. All right, so that's all the way east, I think. Yeah. I have no idea how to... I probably screwed that up. So we'll just hop over these crates. And then we need to switch to Rebecca. And now we apparently need to move right. Okay, that's what it was asking of me. Switch back. Move block number one. We need to hop down here and move it all the way south. Which way is south on here? We're looking at south at the moment. So we apparently need to move... If I just look at the... Yeah, we need to move block number one all the way down this way. Push. 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 Keep pushing. Okay, so that's all of it. That's all it can. Alright, I push it all that I can. Now, uh, hop over the blocks and move walk number three all the way north. So, hop over these. Move to walk number three. Move it. Hold on. We are moving it in the right direction, I think. Yeah. So, we move it all the way north. Push. 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 Is that it? Okay, that's apparently it. Next, we have to... Uh, move block two all the way west. Which is this way. 
against the wall. And then, the next thing that we do, uh, move to the west, and then south until it touches number one. So, all the way south. All the way south. All the way south. All the way south. Holy crap. This is probably the better, like, this, there's a lot of bad things and some good things. The main good thing about this is that the pushing puzzle is a lot better than Tomb Raider. Next, we need to... What do we need to do next? We need to be hop Billy on top of block number one. Which is all the way over here. Then have Rebecca rotate the machine left. Rotate left. Alright, that seems pretty good. And then we need to move block two all the way east. That was uh, this way. And this is block two, so I need to hop down here. And then let me just make absolutely sure of my bearings. East is that way. Alright. Although my views, my, uh, my cam might be mirrored in that sort of way, so my pointing of the head might be a little bit confusing. But now that is all the way there, hop on top of block number two. I said hop on top of block number two, which I believe is this one. That's the one we pushed. Switch to Rebecca. Rotate the machine. Oh, we have to go through all of this. Rotate it left. Suppose it wouldn't move if there was a block in the way. And then move block number two all the way south. Hold on. Switch to Billy. Let's see. This way is south. Yep. So hop down. And then push. I said push. No, don't hop over, you piece of shit. Come on. Down you go. And push. 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 Seriously, dude? Hold on. Maybe if I, uh... Let's try this. Is this all where it needs to be? Is it not like, uh... What if I hop down here? Can I hop down here? Have I really screwed this up? Do I have to go it back right again? Hold on. Okay. Hop back on. Switch to Rebecca. Now we rotated it left, so we should rotate it right. Okay. Now switch back to Billy. We'll just make sure everything is against the walls. Come on. Okay, it wasn't completely against the wall. This time it should work. Switch back to Rebecca. And then... Rotate left. There we go. Now I should be able to push the block. So, uh, switch to Billy. Drop down here. Push this block all the way south. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Now let me just fiddle with the phone again. With all of these blocks in position, we can now move back up the ladder. Take Billy and move it all the way up the ladder. And then, might as well reunite with okay. uh, Rebecca. With Rebecca in hand, go to the control panel and fill up the pool. This should create a bridge which will allow me to go across and get the handle. Alright, should be good to go. Move across the blocks. Wouldn't be at all surprised if there was a beastie that appeared the moment I picked this up. Take the handle. Should be able to use that for the door. I'm just gonna move back to Billy. He might as well take point because he has the most defense. Alright, exit out the door. At least I'm assuming that's what I need to do. Okay, just had to pick up the ink ribbons before I did this. Go over to the door. Get out your handle. Use it. Alright. That turns the door. Wow, can I skip this? 
Alright, it's unlocked anyway. Let's go through the door. I might not actually finish it in this episode, unless I make it a long one. And there should be a lot of zombies on the other side. Hold on. Let's go around this way. Oh! Clothesless zombies! We're just going around this way. That was pretty cool, I guess. Recharge the old pistol. Ah, oh, there's more. Well, I shot your feet. Any more? Is that it? Ow! Oh, you son of a bitch. Dead, dead, dead ski. Now, don't ever do that again. Um, hmm. Part of me wants to actually uh, equip Billy with the sh with the pistol because he'll be shooting more with it, and he has the most defense. I don't think it matters too much. So we shall move on. Hopefully, should be able to pick up these handgun bullets unless we're all full up. No, well we're full up now. We've got 252. Just three more, and then we'll cap out. All right, so because they were coming through that way, there should be a gap here that we should be able to look around. All right, we've got a door here. I might bring Billy out for this one. Now let's see what's on the other side of this door. I'm guessing hunters. Oh, you. Okay, how's everyone doing? Still fine, technically. Thank goodness for small mil uh, small miracles. You dead now? Good. Further along, just a door. I suppose they tried to make this uh, game longer with the item management and the slight backtracking. Oh. So this is a save room. So we've got some napalm grenades over there. Two lots of uh, handgun bullets. Looks like it's been a while since this one croaked. Uh, we've got first aid spray over there. Two red and green herbs. Don't know if I necessarily need them right now. But I might as well examine them just to make sure they're on. Let's see what this note is. Several places are stained black with dried blood. I mean, just come on. Thank you. About battery fluid. The fluid used in batteries is a diluted solu uh, solution of mixed water and sulfuric acid. I can't remember what uh, chemicals are used to make that. One is the stripping agent, the other is the um, uh, the sulfuric acid. Both, both must be of a high purity. When fully charged, battery fluid should have a specific gravity of 1.280 give or take 0 0.010 at 20 degrees Celsius. Take care that the dilute sulfuric acid solution is of a sufficient purity. You got the about battery fluid. Okie dokie. I haven't seen a, um... Take the first aid spray. Nope, don't need it. Yet. I don't see a typewriter, though. Uh, is there any around here? Oh. Alright, take the napalm grenades. I won't be able to use those unless I get access to grenade launcher, but that's all the way at the observatory. So how far are we away from... There's apparently a save point around the corner here. I didn't see the typewriter. There we go. Oh, there's some more ink ribbons. I'll give, uh, I'll give Rebecca those. And then, uh, you move over here. And then I shall be able to save here. I'll save quickly. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the ink ribbons. Ah, uh, wait. No, wait, Billy has access to those. I need to get them back. Uh, hold on. Exchange. Bring over to here. There we go. Swap over, and then I shall drop it. Leave it here. While I'm here, I should also drop this hook shot. I don't think I'll need it. I don't think I'll need it. 
If I do need it, I'll have to come back and get them. Which makes me think that I might need to bring the napalm grenades with me. Oh well. Now switch back to, uh, to Rebecca. And then I'm thinking, just in case... Oh, I can't use it. I'm going to uh, equip this. And then we shall move through and see what's on the other side of this purification room. I'm guessing a whole lot of death. Let's see. Hmm. There's leeches here. Can't go around the side. The air is filled with a foul stench. Looks like the air purification system went offline. Uh huh. Alright, carefully. Oh, so many leeches. Why are there so many leeches? And apparently they were using this to make the T virus. See, so we're just overflowing. Uh, wait, were we allowed to go up? Hmm, I think I might have screwed up. So we just gotta continue moving forward. Alright, let's see what we got. Carefully across here. Oh, oh god! Uh oh, frick, frick, frick. Oh, shit. Uh, what's up the other side here? Okay, that's just a regular zombie. I can use this. Just wait a little moment. How are you getting the shots? What's this? It's the control panel for the gondola. The motherboard is missing. Without the motherboard, the gondola can't receive electric current. Okay. I might need to put Billy on idle, so I don't want him to be wasting these. Now go back to this. Charge up. Alright, a little bit more across. Billy, you need these. Switch back to Rebecca. Actually, switch back to Billy. Moving around here. Is what appears to be gas. There's some napalm grenades. I'll need to pick those up eventually, but if I clear everything out, I should be okay. Uh, oh, gondola terminal. I can't go across there, apparently. So I can't do anything here without the motherboard. Can I move here? Alright, hopefully that takes both of us down. Oh. Uh, Billy, you take point. Hmm. I kind of just want to, uh, look at the guide quickly just to see if I need to expect anything. Good news! Actually, sort of bad news. There's apparently something I completely forgot right at the top. Before I hit those hunters, there was apparently a chemical that I was supposed to pick up. So we're going back up top. Two minutes later. Okay, so there was a ladder here. Climb up the ladder? Yes. Apparently there's something at the very top of this. Might be the chemical that I'm looking for. Hopefully that is. There's also some zombies. I'm just gonna charge myself up some more bullets. There's some green and red herbs here that I might need to use before I leave. I'm just gonna do a quick squiz around. Just make sure I didn't miss any zombies. You. No, actually, Billy, you go. Alright, so what we got? Investigators report too. We should have finished with this dump long ago. When this all started, did anyone expect there would be guns blazing away like this? We weren't told a thing about these creatures attacking us at the briefing. Guess they were a surprise to the head honchos, too. The things in the woods, just starting to attack people. That had to be planned. Someone deliberately scattered that virus, no doubt about it. 
But the gods, our fellow soldiers, they must still be around. Well, whatever. Don't have to worry about that anymore. What I've got to worry about is whether to use my last bullet on myself or on a friend. That's the only decision I have to make. My guess is that he uses it on the friend, and this guy is going to uh, appear. You got investigative report too. Run, run, run. Okay. All right. Let's go back all the way around. Before we do, I'm going to pick and combine these. Take green herb, yes. And then I'm going to take the red herb. I'm going to use. Combine. And then I'm going to immediately use it on thyself. And I'm going to combine this on that. And then move around with Rebecca to the red chemical. On this. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set? Yeah. You put the red chemical in the mixing set. So that is the main proponent. So we will need the blue one, I think, because the green one we used to make the stripping agent. The blue one will make the sulfuric acid that we need to fill up the battery, along with some purified water. Okay. There may be a lot of cutting in this. I don't necessarily want this to be a 30-minute episode. So I'm going to continue for as long as I possibly can. But eventually I will need to go back. This is going to be an hour and 30 minutes in footage. A long time right there. Whatever we face down there shouldn't be too much of a problem. But it is going to be rather surprising the moment we get through. Ah, uh, there's going to be death. Probably right around the corner. Here we go. Okay, we get a cutscene. Whoa. That looks pretty big. Or maybe that's just close. Hey, it's this guy again, isn't it? It's a bit of an issue that it's an enclosed space. We can't really run rings around it, can we? Uh, everyone, get around there. You move over there. Okay, just gonna wait until he starts moving. Ouch. Very ouch. Alright, Proto Tyrant down again. Thank goodness for that. Please just die. Okay, you good? You stationary? Thank goodness. Combine this back again. We're still pretty good. Luckily, uh, Billy has a lot of defense. There's a button. Press it. Uh, yes? All right, that brings that back down. Don't know where that leads, though. Does the map tell me? Uh, up. It leads me into this area here that I have not seen before. I don't even know that I'm supposed to be going through there. Hmm. Let's see if the IGN guide tells me. Okay, apparently we do need to go up the ladder. Climb up the ladder. Here we go. So there's an item at the top of this ladder that we need to collect. Yeah, if I just hurry up. Uh, I don't understand like that. Uh, Billy, you switch back to this. And you're on point. Oh god, there's gonna be a lot of death. Why would they have music like this? Oh, what's this? The motherboard. We need that. Okay. Nothing else to look at here. We can uh, just move to that uh, gondola control panel. All right, here is the control panel. We need to put the motherboard in here. Go into the inventory, get out the motherboard, then use. All right, power has been restored to the gondola. And then it gets brought uh, back to the press. How is that a gondola? That's a crate. You... I don't understand you. Wait, what are we doing? It's a small gondola. Rebecca could probably ride it. She probably could. But I think considering the amount of time that I've spent on this episode, I will probably stop it. If, um, if the next episode ends up being relatively short, I might combine it with this one, so this will be the cut. It is now time for Rebecca to ride the gondola.
So, control her, press the gondola, and hop in. Rebecca could probably ride in it, get in the gondola, yeah. Okay, we're gonna attempt to complete the game in this episode. Assuming I didn't uh, add this one in from before. Like, I have no idea. Like, I will have to work out in post if this is gonna be combined. There's 30 minutes and I can cut that down to 15. Alright. Let's look around, see what we got. We've got a control panel here. We've got another con uh, useless control panel there. Around it, we've got some of these grenades. I'll need to take those back with me. And then there appears to be... I'm guessing this is a pool of some sort? I'm fairly certain that's what it is. I'm seeing anything else. How's the map looking? So that's that. Now what's the guide tell me to do? Alright, exit out of the map. Need to move over to this little lever. There's a lever here to operate the floodgate for the dam. Turn the lever. Yes. Turn the lever, crunk! Come on, you can do it. Okay, that is now turned. The floodgates are raised. Hopefully that's not too bad. So now we need to switch back to Billy. We need to move back down to where we fought that tyrant. Okay, there's only one door that we can access, so we gotta go through this one. So now that the water has been lowered, we should be able to get through a dam that should be on the other side of this. If anything appears, I may have to leg it. So, uh, leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it, death, 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 okay, no death has arrived yet, it might be down there. But all I have to do is just run, runny, 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 run, 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 oh, F off, no, 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 off, I, frickin', Oh, you... Come on! Oh, you cannot tell me that I just lost that one. F*** you, okay? F*** you. Three minutes let down. Okay, forget what I was going to do before. Instead of running, I'm just gonna try and kill the thing. Should've just killed it before. Would've saved me so much time. Alright, it doesn't matter. Let's move across and go up here. Through the door. On the other end of this should be some enemies. Don't know how close they'll be. Oh, you're tough. Oh, and that's his head gone. I have to, like, Flick the thing up in order to get his head. At least I'm able to get myself some more shotgun shells. Take the shotgun ammo. And then take this one that is buried here. Okay. Alright. Am I full up yet? That's not what I want to go back, 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 back. Okay. Uh. Combine this. We're not full yet. Now, what's on the other side here? Uh, there's a door. There's some handgun ammunition. Where am I at right now? I, uh, this is a door leading up where Rebecca is. That's probably where I need to go. Uh, the door is now unlocked. I don't know where I'm technically supposed to go. I'm guessing there's gonna be some death somewhere near- Oh my god. Okay. Now what do I need to do? Okay, so what the guide says is I need to move to the base of the stairs and keep Billy there. And then move back to Rebecca. And then I think this is where I need to go. Yeah. This'll lead to what I think is a small lab. There'll be a plague crawler that I will immediately need to kill. And that's all she wrote. Now, what is over here? There's some more acid grenades. I'll need to take those. Take 
gas grenades. How much do I have right now? I have six. Um, I think I put the S grenade somewhere else, so I should have 12 in total. That'll probably be, that'll probably be useful later. Alright, um, ooh, blue chemical. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set? Yes. The red chemical is already in your mixing set. Add the chemical? Yes. Blue chemical and red chemical have been mixed to form sulfuric acid. And now, we need to pick up this. Industrial water. Use, combine with the sulfuric acid. And that should give me a battery fluid. I think that is all I need to pick up here. I'm just going to check the map. Alright, so Billy should be at the... Wait, hold on. Okay, so that door is now unlocked. I don't need to go through there just yet. I need to reunite with Billy down the steps. Hey, Billy, let's join up. Come on! Okay. All right, let's see what we've got here. There appears to be a battery unit right at the top there. I need to get up there. There's something up on the shelf. Give Rebecca a boost? Hell yeah. All right, pick it up. Just grab it. Take the empty battery. Not only will I take it, I will use it to combine with the battery fluid to give myself a battery. Oh my god. Hi. Oh, that's dangerous. Ah. Uh. Was that it? Okay, how's everyone doing? Still pretty fine. Okay, now that we have the battery, there's only one area that I saw that needed the battery, and that was the forklift. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go straight to the forklift. Ten minutes later. Okay, we are at the forklift. So now we have to put the battery in here. Get out your inventory, get out the battery, use it on the forklift. So the forklift looks like it's ready to be used. Press the lift button. Yeah, sure. Probably should be on there first before I get it. So, uh, Rebecca, go up there. I'll go check over there. Okay. All right, now this. Use, uh, press the lift button. Take the key card, yep. All right, so that key card will open a door right at the bottom. Oh, come on. You dead? So what was that? That was the bloody amphibian. I hate those things. This way. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have to head downstairs because there is a key card down there. But before I do, I will need to. I will need to stock up on whatever supplies I need to. Basically, my inventory has to be full before I go through that incinerator key card door. So I will get those. And I will cut to the door. Three minutes let down. So I have to go all the way over there, use the key card, go back, get all my items, and then come back there. God, I hate this. This game sucks. Just, there's, there's no better. There's no other way to put it. It just sucks. I don't want to have to play a game where I have to spend most of the time, 70% of it, Going back and forth, dropping items, picking them up, using items. Ten minutes right there. Okay, we're at the key card door, finally. It took me a long time. I actually had to use it preemptively, just so that I'd have enough space to put all of the stuff that I want into my characters. We've pumped him with the shotgun and the grenade launcher with the acid rounds, and we put this on to spare, and we've got some shotgun shells. No space for healing. For Rebecca, we've got... The Magnum, the Rounds, the Molotov Cocktail, two healing sources, and the Ink Ribbons. I don't know if on the other side there's going to be some Ink Ribbons. But I think we've got enough. So now all that's left is to go through here. We are very close to finishing this game. Oh. Okay. Alright, let's go to the end of this hall. Something at the end there. Alright, I 
I see some magnum rounds. I definitely want to pick those up. All right, so we've got 23 of them. 31 in total, which is not bad. All right, what's on the other side? I. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is a cutscene. Wow, that is a lot of leeches. Welcome, young ones. So oh, hi, it's you again. You have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago. Spencer had me assassinated. Now the question is, why did he have you assassinated? Ah, oh, time to die, Doctor. I will take over your research. <laughs> <laughs> Wesker Birkin. So he was thrown into the treatment facility. However, something wondrous happened. Oh my. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now wow. I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate! <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done! We'll see which one of us is gonna die. <laughs> oh my. Oh, good God, no. Okay. How do I do this? I don't know, but I'm pausing it for just a second to find out. Okay, so the idea is I need to leave Billy solo in here trying to fend off the queen while I try to go around and hit her from the back. So. I'll go. All right, uh, okay. Uh, I don't like the look of that. Alright, well, at least I did something. Can't imagine that would be it, though. Alright, I want to look around first, because there might be some items that I want to, uh, to pick up. I mean, Cinder, there's something at the very end here. I see some magnum rounds. Very well needed ma magnum rounds, of course. Okay, get back into the inventory, combine this with that. We're pretty good. Don't seem to have taken too much damage. In fact, I don't think we took any damage at all. Alright, go around here. Queen seemed to have dropped two items. Uh, we don't have any slots available, though. Which means I may have to drop one or two of these. I may have to drop this. And I may have to drop this. Oh well. Maybe a bad idea. Actually, I might want to, um... I'll take this with me instead. And leave the first aid spray. Because I'm not sure if that's just healing or if that's healing and also poison. Um, assuming that there is poison. Now, please tell me I'm picking up the right thing. No, I'm not. Okay, I need this. What is this? Shaft key. Yes. And then another thing, uh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. The shaft key. 
So I may have to give one to uh, to Billy, which means I need to exchange exchange this. All right, uh, regroup. Follow me. Yeah. Okay, so where do I need to go? A bit this way. So what's this? It's a keyhole. Looks like it works together with the device next to it. All right. Uh, you stay here. Yeah. All right. I'll move over here, and I move over here. So one person uses one key, and then another person uses the other. Come on. Wasting a lot of time doing this. Both of them turn together, and the door opens. Hopefully we both end up there. Let's see. Yep, it's both of us. Apprentice of I'm Unlocking. Alone. Okay. Wait. Let's regroup. Okay. Okay, so let's see. This is the final save point. There's a lot of sources. So there's shotgun shells. We'll pick up those. Yep. There's some napalm rounds. There's first aid spray. Probably use those right, um... We'll pick those up right after we save. So is that it? There's only... The herbs. The handgun bullets that are not useful to me. And that stuff. Alright, well let's see... Wait, hold on. Did I accidentally... Okay. Exchange. This. All of that. And then, uh... Pick up both... Um, I'll pick up one of these. And then this... And then save immediately. I think I've got everything I need now. I've had to swap... The grenade launcher onto Rebecca. That's what she'll be using for this fight. There's a lever to control the lift. You might be able to use it to escape. Activate the lift. We've got no other thing to do. So, up we go, up we go. 52 minutes I spent on this episode alone. That's how much backtracking and what? item management I had to do. It's the queen! Oh, and the queen is following us. How fast can the queen go? Oh, and now we have a time limit. Who activated the self-destruct system? Well, I, I think that was William Birkin who did that. Clearly not. So, what, do we have to funnel things down? No, it's just cutscene. So we'll probably Shit. enter a gigantic area where we can fight this thing. Wow. Okay. Be careful. Okay, that was enough. But it's not over yet, I believe. The place is still crumbling. Oh, can it? We need to open the windows. All right, how are we gonna do that? By operating the valves, of course. Follow me. All right, so one person will have to do that while the other distracts the queen. And guess who's gonna do that? You work on the windows. Got it. I'll use my charm to distract your majesty. Okay, that's just why. Gate operation manual. To operate the hel uh, to open the heliport in case of emergency. Yeah, shut the hell up. Follow the procedures below. Removing the lock. There are four mechanisms in the room which must be activated in this order. The southwest side, the northwest side, the s so the southwest side, northwest side, southeast side, west side. So, uh, uh, uh. Turn each of the mechanism's handles to unlock the gate. We've got the gate operation menu. Now before we do anything else, I need to swap this back to Billy. Exchange this for... Use this. 
can bring this back to that. Now, do I need to give the Magnum back to Bill? Well, I've got 27. I've got 7 Acid Rounds and 27 Flame Rounds, and I've got the Molotov Cocktails. And I've got some healing. I think I might be good. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Oh, I haven't actually equipped it yet. Hold on. Let's go. Ouch, come on! Alright, I need to somehow... Alright, come this way. Alright. Alright, that's one done. I may be wasting ammo at this point. Combine with this. Okay. Just run. I'll take it from here. So where are you going? Okay, that's that one. No. Alright, come this way. Here. Okay, so that one's done. At least we can leave Rebecca to do this. Hopefully. Everyone's still fine, and we've still got some ammo to spare. Alright, come on. Come on. How's everyone doing, by the way? Uh, um, I'll wait until it gets into red, then use this. The okay. Yep, follow me this way. Okay, that's the third one down. Bloody hell. Okay, move, 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 move. Ah! Okay, we're good here. Yeah, follow me. Come on, follow me this way. How much ammo have I got? I've got seven. That should be enough. That's all four done. And now the door is open. Holy crap, it is nearly an hour. There's no choice but today. Oh, is that a Magnum? Might as well give it one final shot. Billy! You're giving it to <gasps> Billy? Pretty sweet. And then the whole place blows up. Billy! Rebecca, hurry! Yes, just get out of here. You have no need to be here. We don't have to run, do we? No, it's just gonna crumble on its own. That's not a bad explosion. I'll give him that. All right, that's it, I guess. So, what now? You didn't remove it before? Like, what? And it's already... 
Hey. Those clouds or That must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. Oh, uh, you mean the one that Wait, is that a different one? I don't I don't know why I'm even bothering to try and understand this whole Resident Evil series. I guess it's time to say goodbye. I mean, is it? You're both going Officially, your separate ways? Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. So, what about unofficially? I mean, in terms of rank, I mean, if the rank still stood, then you should be reporting to him. I'm not quite sure what uh, Rebecca's designation Thank is, you. aside from medic. Rebecca. Uh, that, okay, now that's just a corny thing to add. Like, what the hell, dude? So, I'm guessing that's the mansion where the Resident Evil game begins. So, is that it for the game? It is. That was Resident Evil Zero. Okay, so thoughts about the game. The gameplay was crap. I could not get over the item management and all the backtracking that I had to do. If most of that was taken out, then this game would be relatively short and also the, I would be able to have longer videos. But all of that just made for such a boring game. Now, if you take all of that away and just focus on the cutscene stuff, that was actually quite alright. What I liked about this, I liked the uh, the in-game animations of like the objects. I didn't mind the pushing puzzles. They were better than some of the pushing puzzles I've seen in old games. Um, and the cutscenes were pretty good. Like some of the stuff was kind of corny, but it's the explosions, all of like the particle effects were pretty spectacular, and the music was pretty okay too. Like this game was like. I think very, very early 2000s. I can't quite remember. But, um... If I could just take out all of the gameplay stuff, then this would have been a great game to play, but... It just isn't. The only comfort that I have... Is that this is going to be the bar. For now. I still have to play Resident Evil, like the original Resident Evil, well the HD remaster, whatever. And then that will probably be the the new bar. Well, hopefully it's better than this, but it came out like after this. No, it came out before this. So this is probably better than that. Who knows? Well, actually, people who have played this will know. I haven't. So I have to find that out. However, I'm going to see if I can skip this. I can. Leech Hunter. You can now play Leech Hunter. Treatment plan complete. Hey, Queenie, feast on this. You can now play Wesker mode. Loading content. Okie dokie. So that is it for it. Now, unfortunately, it is getting very, very close, like irreconcilably close to the release of Psychonauts 2. That is going to be a game that I am going to be playing. So this series is going to have to take a bit of a pause until get that gets finished. But once Psychonauts 2 is finished, Assuming that I have no other games to play, I'm going to continue this series, and the next game right after is going to be the HD remake of Resident Evil. And I hope you will be able to join me for that. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check the corresponding playlist, assuming something turns up, or one of the recommended that pops up below it. I'm the Average Rook, and I shall see you soon, for there is more average content coming your way!